everyone, Kelsey here with Toy Notes and welcome back. More kids' tablets, more reviews for you, and lots more fun here at ToyNotes.com. So make sure you hit subscribe now so you don't miss it. So today we're looking at the Nobby Dream Tab and it's the Dream Tab HD8. Now looking over the package, it doesn't say a whole lot about it other than it has a Dream Pen, which is supposed to be a stylus specifically for this tablet. Dream Pro Studio and it comes with Google Play. So I'm excited to actually see what it comes with and what it looks like more since it doesn't really tell you a whole lot on the box. So let's go ahead and get this opened. So guys, the packaging is really nice on that. It almost has like new car smell with all this foam inside. The box is really durable and very cool. Um, it's got like this little polar bear logo on everything. I think that's Kung Fu Panda actually because yeah because I'm seeing Shrek and the lion from that zoo movie in there. What's this? So this is instructions, quick start guide, the tablet itself and then we have a charger and that looks like it. So this is your Nobby Dream Tab right here. It's pretty big, but I really want to see what are some of the specifications. Like, does it have good internal memory, and what's the screen like, and all of that. Well, I know not to submerge it. That was not very helpful. Quick start guide. It's just showing you where everything is, and it says it's for six and up ages. So I guess I'm going to have to do more exploring actually in the system of this app to see what the storage capabilities are and what all of its capabilities are. So come on in for your closer look. Let's play together and discover how this all works. All right, guys. So we're taking our closer look with the Nobby Dream Tab. I really like this tablet. It's so far got one of the best displays and biggest screens I've seen with um, a child's tablet. So this is awesome for me. You've got the speaker along the front, front facing camera, rear facing camera, USB charging port. You've got a little stylus that's kind of indicative to just this tablet. And then you've got um, this awesome bumper case, headphone jack, like kind of just the basics. Um, it's one of the thinner kids tablets that I have seen as well, which I like. And then turning it on, now Dream Tab comes because, oh, there's the power button and the volume button. It's kind of hard to see on this bumper tab. Let's see if you guys can see it a little bit better. There's the power button and the volume control button. Like I said, it's hard to see on the tab or on the bumper case, but it's nice and easy to see there on the side of the tablet. So when I open it up, the reason it's the Dream tab is you see the DreamWorks logo here. That is because DreamWorks was involved in the making of this tablet. So um, we're gonna unlock it. And then I just wanted to show you some of the features. Now, Nobby is really great about um, kids' safety. In order to open up all the features in this, you're going to have to acknowledge their safety policy with a uh, 50 cent one time charge. But then you have access to all kinds of features in the parent mode where you can restrict time, um, you can restrict websites with the web browser, um, certain applications. I mean, you've got a lot going for you there. Um, going through the features, you've got this Dream Pro Studio, which is kind of cool that DreamWorks kind of included this. It's like picture editing, video editing, stuff like that. That's the browser there where you have the restrictions from the parent mode, camera, and then a games, okay? Um, so you're gonna see some of your favorite characters here. We've got Toothless, we've got Kung Fu Panda, we've got Shrek, and then see this account required? That's because I haven't acknowledged with the 50 cent charge yet. Um, there's a lot of DreamWorks based games in here, which I thought was cool, but they're all learning games like Math Ops with the Madagascar Penguins, um, My ABCs, Madagascar, Fireworks, with Kung Fu Panda. Let's see what else we've got. Fruit Ninja, which everybody loves to play. 
And these are just kind of more knobby based games as well. So you've got all kinds of books to read and download. I mean, there's really just a lot to do on this tablet already. And then when you acknowledge that privacy um, feature, you can actually access more applications and download more applications. You can also add more child's profiles. Um, there's just a whole bunch to do on this tablet. So I just kind of wanted to show that to you guys briefly. There's the app menu as well. And then if you want to go back and forth between profiles, you can choose children's profiles, mommy's profile, the web, chore list, settings, that all, that whole thing. So guys, I just wanted to go to final review real quick so I have a couple other things I'd like to point out about the Nobby Dream tab and then we'll be signing off for the day. Alright guys, before I sign off for the day, I just had a few final comments about my Nobby Dream tab. This actually made probably close to the top five of the tablets for kids that I have reviewed. I actually like Nobby as a brand because of the, how seriously they take kid privacy. Um, I really like the features are kind of easy to use, very kid friendly, bright primary colors. They also really focus on education and their games can be are fun, but they're also educational. So additionally, with this tablet having such a great screen resolution and such a big screen, I think this one is one of the favorites of mine that I've ever played with. So I really wouldn't hesitate to purchase this one again if I'm in the market for a kid's tablet. This hits a lot of great points for both parents and kids. So guys, if you want to have more Toy Notes reviews, more Toy Notes fun, make sure you check us out at our website, toynotes.com. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button right here on YouTube and give us a big thumbs up since that's always appreciated. Also, I wouldn't mind seeing some comments if you guys have a favorite kids tablet, um, things that you're looking for in particular when you're shopping kids tablets, and then I can keep those in mind for future reviews and also have some pointers to go on for um, when I'm looking for a kids tablet. So guys, until next time, see you soon.